How's everybody doing? Now, as you may or may not have heard, recently, the estate of Marvin Gaye, or the Marvin Gaye family, sued Pharrell Williams for his song, uh, or Pharrell Williams and Robin Thicke, for their song, Blurred Lines, being reminiscent, they sued those people for the Blurred Line song, for it being just like the Get On Up, Marvin Gaye's Get On Up. And they, they won the lawsuit. And they're looking into Pharrell Williams' is happy and seeing if it, uh, Copies Marvin Gaye's song Ain't That Peculiar. Now, it's been said that a lot of people think this verdict is going to set a precedent that is going to cause trouble with artists, mu musical artists being creative and, you know, it's it's gonna it's gonna it's a ripple effect over the industry as a whole, and it's gonna cause problems, you know, stifling creativity because everyone's gonna be having trouble with lawsuits, you know, which it's just silly. It's just absolutely silly. Because, and I'm here to, I'm going to show you with a little creativity and a little originality that you can make a great song, a great hit song, a great wonderful song, and it, it's not going to have any effect on this whatsoever. Now, there's been a couple other uh, lawsuit things in the past just a couple of hours that you may not have heard about um, that really they're just like this one they're frivolous and they're unimportant and they they're not going to cause any problems in the creative community like I guess now if you want to have like a guitar or drums or a bass guitar or chimes or anything in your in your songs like you have to pay a certain amount of royalty to the person that invented the guitar or the person that invented the drums or the person who invented the bass guitar or the person who invented the chimes but you know there are ways you if you use creativity or in originality, then you don't have to worry about such things. You know, like, for example, so I'm, I can't afford to pay to have guitars and drums and chimes in my song. But that doesn't matter. I'm going to do it a cappella. I'm sorry, what's that? I can't... My lawyer's advising me that I can't say do it a cappella. I can't say a cappella. I just can't say a cappella. My lawyer's advising me that I just can't I can't say a cappella. No matter. I'm gonna sing my song. I took a girl on a date. My lawyer's advising me to read the following statement. Date or dating is a concept dating back to the ancient Greek family, the Dacians. We took a stroll through the park. My lawyer is advising me to read the following statement. Park is a registered trademark of the Langston Hughes Park the Third Estate. Then we bought some ice cream. My lawyer is advising me to read the following statement. Um, ice cream is involved in a pending lawsuit. The estate of Bill Gelato, 
the inventor of the gelato, the ancient Italian treat, is claiming that ice cream is structurally as yummy as gelato, I am not allowed to discuss a pending lawsuit any further. My lawyer is advising me to not sing the song anymore. But I mean, you get the idea.